right, now we're going to talk about uh, configuring the ME. You can uh, pretty much just call this uh, setting the clean feed or the dirty feed uh, for the separate discrete outputs uh, for both the program bus and for the half ME. Uh, and to get there, you want to go to config, ebox, and up here you will see then ME. And let's start with the half ME first, which I'm going to delegate over here uh, with, the, with this row of buttons, uh, and take a look at the half ME. Uh, on our boards here, you have four keyers for both the two channels of output, uh, whether it's ME half A or ME half B, uh, but these are only linear. Uh, they don't have the chroma keys or luma keys. Can't do that on our half ME's, uh, but you can at least uh, eliminate here uh, any of the linear keys that you've assigned uh, one through four on either one of these. But what I really want to talk about though more is on the program bus um, and how to delete or, or make say let's say a clean feed and a dirty feed uh, for some different destinations uh, on a couple of discrete different outs. Um, looking up here in the upper left uh, for previewing, you want to, if you want to preview these different things, which very often you do, you can assign what uh, preview assignment is here. So. Uh, the program bus has four discrete outputs, A, B, C, and D. Uh, we very often just use A. Uh, whenever we have uh, a regular output with nothing special uh, where we're going to go straight to the screen or straight to record with whatever keyers or DPMs that we have on um, during, during that mix. Um, but here you can assign these previews. Uh, you have two that you can choose from, either A or B. And that's all I'm going to do really to demonstrate this. You have the four discrete outputs, but I'm just going to talk about, uh, let's say we have uh, A and B. Uh, so let's say um, on A, that's going to your screen, uh, and you've got, you've got two, let's say you have a DPM on key one and two, and then let's say key or three, you have a lower third, and key four, you have a bug. Uh, this, with the, when they're all lit in green, that's saying that they're all active uh, actually, they're all active on all of these right now. Uh, so, but on the screen feed, we do want to see everything that happens. Uh, we want to see the bugs. We want to see the lower thirds. We want to see the DPMs. But also, let's say you have a record feed or a web feed, uh, and they don't want to see uh, some of the different effects, uh, lower thirds and stuff that you're putting on there because they just want to have just nothing but clean so, so they can do whatever they want in post. So if I wanted to eliminate, say, the bug on this uh, on this B output, I would just press that key, and now everything that I'm switching on my program bus uh, it will be recorded or sent without the bug. If I wanted to remove all the keyers, I would do that, and now that, that second discrete feed is a clean feed, whereas to our, our primary feed, let's say to the screen, is our, uh, is our dirty feed. Uh, same thing with the other two feeds, let's say on uh, on C and on D, you just wanted uh, just the DPM effects, say on that output, you push those, and let's say you just didn't want to have the bug on uh, output, uh, discrete output number four, you would highlight it like that. And just a reminder, we can configure this all day long, but unless we actually assign this to a button input like we did earlier on the panel assignment, uh, you won't have any way to route these anywhere. So. Uh, as you're doing this, if you're setting up a second, third, or fourth feed, uh, make sure that you go to the panel assignment, go down and find PPB, PPC, uh, and assign that to one of your, uh, one of your inputs.